Welcome to the homework for lesson 16. This is module 5 of grade 2 and write your name here first please. And we're solving vertically or using mental math and drawing chips on the place value chart and on bundling. So we'll solve this one here that 89 that's pretty close to 90 but mentally there's no I mean I could add I mean really could use a mental strategy here but vertical method is really going to be the best way to do this one I'd have to add 11 to both numbers to make this really work out and that's just going to be a bit of a pain maybe so <clears throat> don't have any tens to work with here i don't have enough ones so i gotta decompose this hundred here that means i'll have 100 left after doing that and i'll have 10 tens for it but then i have to unbundle one of those so I only have nine left and that leaves me with 16 ones 16 minus 9 is 7 9 minus 8 is 1 and we get to keep that 100 so here's the chip model two hundreds and six ones and I've got to cross out nine ones I can't do it I don't have any ten so and that's the whole reason for it was to get ones in the first place so now I can subtract nine ones and that leaves me with seven left and eight tens that's five and three more one left and there's that hundred 117 509 minus 371 well I'm just gonna do this vertically and looking at our ones we don't have to unbundle anything so nine minus one that's just eight sometimes it's like that zero minus seven in our tens place we can't do that so we need to decompose a hundred we'll get ten tens for that ten minus seven is three tens left four minus three is one left five hundred nine two three four five and nine ones one two three four five six seven eight nine we don't draw our subtrahend when we do this we only draw the minuend now we cross out the 371 we can cross out a one done the tens we don't have any tens so we have to decompose a hundred and you can look over at our vertical model that's we have 10 here right there's 10 of these here just like we had this 10 up there and cross out seven five six seven and just count what's left three left here eight left here and oh we got to cross out the 300 still one two three one left there Now, if you're really good at this, recognizing 88, you need 12 more. You could add 12 to the 607 and get 619 minus 300 and do that mentally. But most of us are not are not are going to have to do it vertically. 
7 minus 8, we don't have enough 1s, we don't have any 10s. So there's 10 10s, and I'm going to use one of those, so I only have 9 of those. Now I have 17. 17 minus 8 is 9, 9 minus 8 is 1, and 5 minus 2 is 3. Here's our 600 and 7. And I can't cross out eight ones, so I don't have any tens to decompose. So I'm going to have to do this with starting with the hundreds. Now I can cross out eight. And I can cross out eight tens. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight, and two hundreds, leaving with three, one ten, and nine ones, three hundred nineteen. Now, this six hundred eight is pretty close to six hundred. We could subtract eight from both of those. But then we're doing three subtractions instead of just one. If we're going to use a comp mental compensation strategy, um, then we'd have 792 minus 600, which would be 192, which I, I just did it mentally. And let's see if that's how it comes out vertically. Ten minus eight is two. Nine. There's 192. Okay, so it worked. Eight hundreds. No tens. And now we need ones. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you'll see now, now that we've done all of our decomposing, this is what you should have up here. All right, we should have seven hundreds, and that's what we have. Five, five here, and two more. We should have nine tens, and that's what we have, because we had to use one of those. And we should have ten ones, and that's what we have, ten ones. Now we can subtract. Eight ones, two left. Don't subtract any tens, so we get to keep all nine. And then we have to cross out six of these hundreds, five, six, leaving one behind. Nine hundred minus five hundred seventy two. You can do this the arrow way too. But you really want to get good at this vertical method. You have to practice it. 10. Break up one of those. And now 9. And now we have 10. 10 ones. And I just want to show this. I'll do it. What I just did with the numbers, I will do with the chips before we do our subtraction. 5, 6, 7, 8 nine so there's our nine hundreds right so first thing I did was decompose one of those hundreds two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that gave me that ten right there then I had to decompose one of these leaving me only nine and I got ten ones for it oops and 
And now I can do the subtraction. 10 minus, looking at our ones place, 10 minus 2 is 8, 9 minus 7 is 2, and in the hundreds, 8 minus 5 is 3. And we'll do the same thing over here, subtracting two ones, there's 8 left, subtracting 7 tens, that's 5, 6, 7, you can see there's 2 left there, and 5 of the hundreds gone, that leaves 3 behind. Andy said that 599 minus 456 is the same as 600 minus 47. Write an explanation using pictures, numbers, or words to prove that Andy is correct. So it looks like this I don't know why you would want to prove this or why you would want to. It doesn't make it any easier to make this to be subtracting from 600. But this reminds me of the tape diagram compensation strategy. So it looks like he's just added both one to both the menu end and the subtrahend. So that's a pretty easy tape diagram to draw, so that's how I'm going to do it. So we started with 599 and 456. And this is the difference we're looking for. And if I add 1 to this, now this is 600. And if I add 1 to this, now that is 457. But the difference remains the same. I mean, there it is, right there. And I'll just write a sentence of explanation here. Andy... added one to both menu end and subtrahend so the difference stays the same.